ACCG, Ms. Dukes. Thank you, Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. The ACCG has forwarded the resolution in your packet out to all counties in Georgia. Mental health will be a conversation with the upcoming session of the General Assembly. Uh, as a part of that, the ACCG is asking every county in the state to adopt this resolution to show a, uh, a collected and consolidated support to hopefully move the General Assembly in, in a good direction next session where we're making some improvements across the state. These, uh, do you know the, the guts of this deal as far as what improvements? Not yet. Not yet. I think that the first email that we got from, from the ACCG was the first step in the process is to approve this resolution and that there will be more information coming. I think that at their leadership the academy coming up, they'll start to shore up some of their policy requests collectively uh, from the ACCG for the next session. Um, I know this is something we've had ongoing conversations since last um, December with our delegation, so I know it's on their radar. I think the hard part is that it's such a multifaceted issue that no one can figure out where to start, and I'm hoping that this is going to help them narrow that down. Yeah, I know it's uh, a broad situation, but uh, I'm just hoping that we can get some relief for our jail system yes. in, in this area. Yes. This is well, you know, if someone is on mental health medication and they're in jail, even though the medication is provided, you can't make them take it. But once they they commit so many crimes that they end up in prison, the prison system can make them take the medication. And it just seems like that the whole system is setting those people up to fail because it just means you've got to be in jail enough time for a significant enough crime that you finally get sentenced to prison. Then we'll get you on your medication. And that entire... That entire environment just exacerbates mental health issues to begin so with. So maybe this, if the state does the right thing, will correct that issue? I hope so. See. It's going to take some time to turn that shit, but hopefully they're committed to getting started. Well, we're doing it. Yes, sir. Yeah, since they made the changes that they did probably 10 plus years ago, um, Mental health issues have really come up really short on being addressed in local communities, and that burden has really been applied to local communities to have to take that up. So hopefully out of all this, uh, the state will be taking a harder look at it and, and for some improvements. Even the agencies and our services out there that do serve these folks, I mean, they're very limited in how they can provide that service. Again, as Paige says, you can't force someone to participate in something all you can do is provide a brief intervention and then hopefully uh, <coughs> that takes but if it you know with addictions or anything like that i think we all know that if you've had any experience with it at all um, it's a it's a lifelong process from there i mean you have to continue to take the medications you have to continue participating in programs that's available so it's a commitment from those individuals but without the resources being there and some encouragement, hopefully tools that the state may be able to apply, uh, we will continue to have that problem. 